On this episode of China Uncensored, China declares war on the Chinese people. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Chinese people have just been declared enemy of the state by the Chinese government. Comprehensive action has been taken to make sure this grave danger to the Communist Party is met with brutal retaliation. China is in the midst of a once-in-a-decade transition of power. Top officials are meeting during the two sessions, a gathering of the National People's Congress and CPPCC. And Chinese leaders have identified the greatest threat facing the Communist Party, the Chinese people. Yes, at every step of the way, the people of China have stood in the way of China's attempt to crush the people of China. They get upset if officials try to forcefully demolish their homes. They get upset when officials force them to have abortions or sterilizations. They even get upset when family members of officials try to gang rape their daughters. When the CCP invests billions of dollars into great public works like the Great Firewall of China, they just break through it and get on subversive websites like YouTube. That's money wasted officials could have used to buy American real estate. Enough is enough. The Chinese Communist Party will no longer tolerate terrorism by the Chinese people. That's why they've declared war on China. A budget has been proposed for China's Ministry of Public Security of $124 billion to fight Chinese citizens in the war for China. For the third year in a row, they're getting more money than the People's Liberation Army gets. This time about $10 billion more. The Ministry of Public Security oversees a vast network of police, paramilitary police, secret police, dream police, and will be on the front lines of the war against China. And already the effects are being felt. Here in Shangpu Village, Guangdong Province, residents blockaded the central square in the beginning of March after protests against their local party chief, Li Baoyu, who maybe was selling off large plots of their farmland to his developer friends. They were calling for democratic elections, but too bad for them, you can't own guns in China. So rather than democratic reform, they got a few thousand police throwing stun grenades in their faces on Sunday night. Blockade broken. One of the paramilitary police even wrote about it on his Sina Weibo micro blog. We have returned victorious. How exciting. Tossing stones, throwing flash grenades, stun grenades, tear gas. Really exciting, but very tiring too. You know, breaking the backs of the common people is hard work, and it's important to get proper nutrition to recover. That's why I always reach for Peasant Tears Protein Powder. It contains a proprietary blend of complex carbohydrates and essential proteins necessary for repairing muscles after strenuous exercise of authoritarian might. Just add one scoop to an 8-ounce glass of Peasant Tears and... Mmm, taste the red. So what do you think? Email me at 